Okay, hello everybody, it is Super Stupidy, and I am back with some more Taku- Ooh, Taku, uh, 64. Uh, anyway, this episode, we're gonna be hitting a bonus level real quick before moving on to level 4. So, um... Anyway, let's head up into the Kini Nui Temple real quick, shall we? Uh, important to note is that there's a little warp here. Uh, I probably shouldn't have put it here because I feel like it's probably easier to reset the game. But I kind of wanted a way... Or just go into level and exit level. Anyway, exiting any level is going to take you back to the tutorial. This warp, likewise, will take you back to the tutorial level. Um... I probably shouldn't have put that warp there, I feel like it's just kind of causes a little extra confusion. But I wanted an easy way to get back to the tutorial. Uh, and this is not an easy way, admittedly. <laughs> um, but it is there. Anyway, our bonus level is right over here. So let's, uh, let's jump in, let's see what we got. What's this bonus level, huh? What is it? What could it be? Whoa! Alright, here we are, in the Secret Plains. This is going to be the first uh, Secrets of Matanui stone. Um, so basically, the bonus levels in this game are broken up into two sets of six. You've got um, one for each Wahi. So for example, the Secret Cove level that we just did... Um, last episode, I think? No, the level, the episode before. Um, the Secret Cove level is the Gawahi, uh, bonus level. So, um, and then, then, so you've got one for each Wahi, and then you've also got six sort of neutral Matanui Secrets ones, which are, like, based on areas in between Wahis. So, like, the old Busa path probably- ah, blah. The old Fusa path probably should have been um, one of these instead of a Gakoro level, but I built the old Fusa path before I had decided to even put include bonus levels in the game, so that's why it's not one, frankly. Um, but anyway, so we've got all of these. I accidentally died, so we have to redo everything. Ugh. To redo everything. Um, so yeah, we've got, uh, so this is our first neutral bonus level. We've done the Gawahi bonus level, and now we're doing level one of Madanui's Secrets, which is, um, Secret Plains. See? Secret Plains. There it is. Um, <laughs> so, this level turned out pretty well, I think. It's maybe a little bit difficult to find your way around for, like, the first bonus level. This is probably the first bonus level that anyone would find. The Secret Cove one is a little bit more obscure. Uh, anyway. I'm just kinda going on autopilot and collecting things. I don't know what the best route through here is. Honestly, I don't really pay much attention to designing routes when I was building the game. Every once in a while, I would be like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if... You could do all of these in this order, and it was, whoa, and it was really snappy and easy to get around and stuff, but anyway, uh, where's the last one? It's this one, right? Yes, it is. All this water gushing out of this stone. I don't know how it gets up and into this stone, but you know, it's all just kind of pouring out of there. Anyway, that's the Secret Plains bonus level complete. So, now we shall collect our stone. Watch out for all these. How do you like this little... Little grasshopper guys. Ugh. Most of the Rahi in this game are official models and stuff, or models from other games that are like kind of semi unofficial. But occasionally I wanted one that I would have to design myself. I built out of real Lego and then I kind of approximated it using models to save on polygon. Oops, I don't want to be on there. Um, anyway, and the grasshopper is one of them. So that's probably the first cut, like, fully custom model that we're gonna discover in this game. Uh, anyway, level 4 is next. Now, fun fact about level 4 is that there are actually two ways to reach it. One way via the overworld, and, uh, one way via Gakoro. So we're actually going to jump back into Gakoro real quick, and I'll show you the secret way. Um, it was intended to be the secret way, but as it turns out, the secret 
path to level four is actually much more well traveled than the uh, than the intended route, <laughs> which uh, says one thing: either it says I probably shouldn't have hidden the intended route so well, or it says I shouldn't have put the secret path in. But the reference, the boat reference, was a little bit too hard to pass up. So here we go. We're uh. We're using the boat, because it's cool, and I like it, and it's fun, and it's cool, and I like it. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Ba-ba-ba, boom. It's boat time. Hey, talk to me. Ocean Man. Ahoy, my name is Kai, the sailor. I'm headed to Takoro for my usual supply run. You could come along if you'd like. I should warn you, though. You won't be able to take any of your lightstones uh, with you. Just hop up on deck and hold still if you'd like to go. Uh, I definitely discovered a better way of doing text, like towards the middle of the game. I started figuring out a better way to organize the text so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Uh, anyway, here we go. We're riding the boat. Uh, you like my boat? It's cool boat. Um, so I kind of I'm pretty happy with the boat model, huh? It um. We're cruising. Um, so yeah, the uh, I don't think is there an official representation of the this boat model in 3D from Lego? Because I feel like uh, there isn't really. I mean, you can kind of get a good view of it from Mad Newy Online Game Two, which is like what I use to design it mostly. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, enough of that. We should be arriving soon. That's all she says. All right, let's uh. Let's get where we're going, huh? The Fortress of Takoro. Top of Takoro. Boom! Anyway, we're dropped right here on the beach. Uh, and you can see, we've got a nice view of the... Uh, this is, do you think this is the most famous... you think this is the most famous view in, uh, in Bionicle? Maybe? Probably? I imagine that a lot of people, when they think of Bionicle, this is probably... Kind of what comes to mind, right? The opening shot of Mad Newy Online Game by the canister. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this is clearly, clearly a reference here. Uh, the sky's a bit different. Everything's purple. It's, we've got a purple sky and uh, purple water. <laughs> uh, we got purple, purple. It's very purple out here. But anyway, so it, was a, it feels a little bit different, a little more alien. But uh, anyway. Let's head into the volcano, shall we? Look at these little guys. I like these little bug guys. Boom. The bug guys from, uh, I guess they're supposed to be Hodo, right? They're supposed to be Hodo from Bionicle the game. And we can cross the old bridge to Takoro. And here we are, Takoro. Hey, how's it going? Ah, Takua, you're back, I see. Huh? <laughs> you're back, I see. You're looking for Toa Stones? I think I've seen a few around. <laughs> Uh, alright, well, let's get cruising. Which one are we doing? I forgot. Oh, yeah, top of Takoro. Let's, uh, let's go. Uh, before we really explore around, what time is it? Uh-oh, I feel like we're not going to be able to complete all of Takoro this episode. This might be the first level that we have to break up into two episodes. And then who knows where it's going to go from there. It's going to get all out of control and, uh, organization will totally be lost out of here. Um, anyway, that's fine. I knew it was, gonna, it was definitely going to happen at some point, and it might as well happen now. Uh, sorry, the tunnel to Onukoro is currently being worked on. Yes, but there's a big gap in it. I can see. I can crawl in. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, fine. <laughs> anyway. Um, I've heard Gakronans like to ride hoi turtles in Gawahi. Can you believe that? Absurd. Irrational. Lava boarding is clearly the superior form of surfing. Um, alright, dude. Whatever, dude. Anyway, there are actually technically a couple ways up here. This is the intended way. I die. But I did find a shortcut, which is pretty fun to use. So I'll probably be using the shortcut uh, in subsequent paths up up, the, up to the top here. Okay, this guy is actually a more recent addition. I forgot he was here. He just says, uh, while collecting blue light stones, if you leave the area and come back to it, you may find that you start counting again from one. Don't worry. You still have all the light stones you've collected so far, unless you leave the Koro. Anyway, this basically refers to a bug <laughs> in which, um, 
the numbers start counting again from one if you collect if you collect a, to a, a light stone and then leave the area and come back it starts counting again from one even though they're all still logged and the sound continues on as normal which is weird but uh, anyway uh hey takua do you know how to wall jump i've heard that if you jump against a wall with enough speed and jump again as soon as you hit you'll jump again i haven't been able to pull it off yet uh, so, this is the primary wall jump tutorial. The one in the Fusa path is kind of like the secret one. Um, the secret one, which is not intended to be the first time you encounter wall jumping, but I did put it there because I wanted a wall jumping set. What am I doing? I'm doing the wrong Toa Stone here. Uh, anyway, um, anyway. I put the wall jumping tutorial in the Fusa path because I realized that players might reach that area without knowing how to wall jump, and that would be kind of a bummer if you couldn't figure out how to get past that point after making it like halfway up the mountain. Anyway, top of Takoro, complete. Course four, top of Takoro. Let's head back in. Ta Onu Tunnel Slide. It's time for our first slide level. This slide level is not my favorite. It's kind of bad, mainly because I did not know how Mario 64 slides worked when I built it. Um, which is why it's weird and stupid. Anyway, if we go in here, we can slide down all this and try not to get burned by the lava. Whoa, whoa. But anyway, the reason this is bad is because it ramps up here, which normally you would assume launches you, but actually in Mario 64... Ow, 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 I'm gonna die. I stinking died. What a dummy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Normally you would think that the momentum would fling you up, but actually... It's a severe hindrance to you in this game because um, basically the amount of distance you're able to jump is determined by how much speed you have. So when you hit a ramp that goes up like that, it basically just eats your speed and nerfs your jump a lot. So basically, you really want to, I ouchie, ideally you want to hit the jump when you're at your steepest area, but obviously that's not gonna work here. What am I doing? I'm fooling around. I'm fooling around and it's a disaster and it's horrible. Okay, anyway, this is why this level sucks. Um, it looks cool though, so you know what? It gets a pass from me. <laughs> it gets a pass from me because it looks cool, but uh, anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's uh, get over here. Boink. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Ah, <laughs> I screwed it up. Okay, anyway, this is obviously the pump from Matanui Online game. So it's a nice little reference there. Uh, it turned out pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Uh, anyway, we get the stone. Slowly making our way through Takoro. Ta Onu Tunnel Slide complete. Let's move on to the next one. And it's going to be Surf the Lava Lake. Okay, are there any. Which. Which. Uh, Matoran have we not talked to yet? Uh, let's not talk to the lightstone one yet. The lightstone one is Jala, I think. Or Jala. Um. Eh, there's also. This. What is this for? Oh, yeah, it's lightstones. Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, there are a couple ways up on the wall, and that's one of them. But that'll become. That'll come important in a minute. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, surfing. It's surfing time. Let's go down to the lava lake. Oof. Hi. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Takua, ever wanted to try, uh, huh? <laughs> I'm, the joke has got to stop, the joke's got to stop. Okay, uh, you ever wanted to try lava boarding? I've got a board right here you can borrow. Just be careful not to break it, I've only got one right now. Uh, okay, this of course refers to the fact that the lava boards will not respawn. So if you actually break it, then you're going to have to go for a different stone or leave the level or something. Or die, you're going to have to die. Anyway, this is um an extremely easy introduction to... The lava boarding mechanic. There are harder lava boarding sections later in the game. <laughs> anyway, Surf the Lava Lake is complete. That's a freebie. That one's a freebie. What did I just do? Okay, eight light stones amidst the walls. I talked to this guy right? Yes, I did. Okay, it's light stones time. So what, uh, what order are we going to grab these up in? I guess we ought to collect that one. So, as I was saying, there are two ways up to the wall. Ba, B, 
Bop. Notch. Stop it. So, actually, there are a few ways up on top of this arch, too. I think... I don't know what I was thinking when I built this. I probably shouldn't have made it like this, because I feel... Well, actually, there are a few ways. So, first of all, you can jump off of this stone with, like, a side flip or something. I keep bonking for some reason. So, you can do that. Or, you could wall jump up, uh, dead. I... You could wall jump like this to get it, you could wall jump like that, or you could climb up on the wall and jump down, that's probably the least fun way to do it. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've got that one. Okay, up on the wall then, let's go up on the wall. So, the intended way up on the wall is to go back through here, through the briefing room. There's a nice little volcano, the main guy there. And we can go through here, go up the staircase. Whee! And now we're on top of the wall, and our red coin counter reset, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, so that's the primary way on top of the wall. The other way is um, from this position. See, they're counting from one again, stupid game. Stupid game. The other way up is if you do like that, da -da -da, -da, you can get up on the wall that way. Easy, easy peasy. There's one light stone up here on the wall. Let's grab it. Boom, mine. All right. Um, so how many are we missing? Four. Um, where are they? I think they're all up on the wall, right? I think they're, I mean, not the wall, but the fortress over there, I think. There's one, you can see. Okay, um, so yeah, let's go and climb, climb the wall, shall we? I don't think I've forgotten any down here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna use that shortcut I mentioned before. So let's hit it. Let's do the shortcut, I think. It's a little bit tricky to pull off, but if you jump into this torch here, and you can <laughs> boost up there. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky to pull off, because you can bounce off of the wall and fall down, and then you obviously only have a few tries to get it correct, because if you burn yourself too many times, then you just die, and that's kind of a problem. But, um, okay. Anyway. So we're gonna climb up here, and do a wall jump, do some wall jump. We're gonna go around this way. Whee! And we'll come over here. We'll jump across here. Edge grab this, which is indicated by the light stone that's hanging out there. Now we'll jump back, and we'll leap to this tower. Ugh! And there it is! Did I, I guess I didn't talk to Jala yet, did I? I forgot to talk to him. I got so busy collecting blue light stones for no reason that I forgot to talk to Jala. Oh, hey, Takua. I, you haven't seen any blue light stones around here, have you? I need eight of them. For when my guards are on lookout duty. Okay, well, thanks for the Toa Stone, pal. Excellent. Lightstones are done. That's good. You always like to have the Lightstones missions out of the way, huh? Telescope time. Okay, let's hit the telescope. So, we'll... Oh, wow. I completely forgot. I completely forgot that I was going to show the intended way to reach Takoro. Whoops, I meant to do that after the first Toa Stone, but I got totally distracted. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, as you can see, this is an area that we have not previously been. So... We're gonna drop down. We're gonna go this way. Bloosh. Where are we? Where is this? Well, it's just around the back side of the end the <laughs> intro area. So if you technically, straight from the beginning of the game, if you were to go around back here, you could head straight into level four. I don't know why you'd wanna do that, but it is a in a bit it is possible for you to do such a thing. So anyway, let's go this way. Um, die, you little cretin. Die. Uh, so now we're gonna have to make our way back up to Takoro, but that's alright. It's easy. It's very easy to make it up to Takoro. We just climb up here. Now there are a couple ways from here. You could long jump over there or something and run around, run around. Or you could take the cool guy way and jump up here. If, uh, never mind, I'm bad at the game. I may, originally this was easier, but I made this slippier, so it's now it's a little bit harder. But you can do that. Easy peasy. So that's the fast way up. Anyway, yeah. Let's go back into Takoro and do the telescope, as I promised. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we'll probably do the telescope and then end the episode, and we will 
uh, wrap up Takoro next episode and maybe do a couple bonus levels to pad out the rest. That way we can start level 5 up on a new... I don't know. I don't know how the timing is going to work out. But anyway, uh, let's chat uh, Chat with this guy. Hey, guy. My apologies. The lift Kawahi is currently out of commission. But you can look. You can look at it. That's pretty nice, right? Whoa, look. Whoa, it takes it right up to Ihu. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, that's just a little reference there. Just a little reference. So, we're gonna make our way this way, towards the telescope. I probably should have made it so that the terrain functions in a way that it makes the camera pan up towards the telescope. That would have been cooler, but instead it kind of does the opposite. It pans towards the ground, which sucks. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Um, oh yeah. So this is a, re a repeat of the uh, positioning one that's in the secret cove level. Uh, anyway, so I'm not going to bother reading that. I put that one in two places because I felt like it was important enough that uh, you should read it in one of those places if you missed it in the other one. Okay, uh, so we've made it up to the telescope, but before moving on, let's take a look at this reference, this reference. We've got the the little, what the heck is it called, the Amaja Circle? <laughs> uh, it's a little bit cramped over here, but uh, it's stylized, it's stylized, okay? It's not inaccurate, it's stylized. Look at this Makuta stone, you like it? <laughs> Okay, anyway, moving on. Let's make our way up to the telescope. Bo 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 boing. Bo bo boing boing. Whoa, look at the telescope. Peer into it. Oh. Uh, here I am. <laughs> I've, been, I've been transported to some ethereal plane. Uh, so this is a bit of a tricky level, if only because it requires an angled wall jump to reach the platform up here. Uh, so, let's see if I can pull it off in one try. Yeah, I did! I'm so good at this game. Wow. And this is the first level, I think, that has the platforming camera, which I used in levels which were difficult enough to require more free camera movement, or in levels where it wouldn't look through walls and stuff. And as you can see, there are no walls for it to accidentally look through in this area. So I could use it easily. I could use this camera easily without breaking immersion and stuff. Anyway, we got the red star. Yes. <laughs> the toe are coming. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway, um... The Fortress of Takoro. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Next episode, we'll wrap up Takoro, do a few bonus levels, and maybe move into level 6, or I mean 5, level 5, I don't know. Uh, so, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, go ahead and do the usual supportive stuff, and I will see you guys for the next one. So, from Super Stupidity, it is goodbye for now. Goodbye.